you may be wondering why we have fewer results once we put in both COVID and coronavirus. I'd like to show you something. Because we have added all of this together automatically, this has been limited to 2020 to 2021 for our publication date. So if you're doing something that requires a certain time period, like if you want something on El Salvador in the 1980s, you can change that date to 1980 or the 1980s. Or if you want the most relevant information on a topic, you can change it to the last five years. This shows us that publication is only from 2020 to 2021. 281 is still a whole lot of items to look through. Other ways you can limit using these facets on the side are full text, which is already selected. For this, because you're in a biology class, I'm going to suggest to you that you do scholarly or peer-reviewed journals. That means that these items have been reviewed by a scientific process of some sort. Now that takes you down to five articles, which isn't a whole lot, and you'll look and you'll You'll notice that it doesn't have a lot of the stuff that we argue about right now as a, a current events issue with masks as a current events issue because all of these items are things that have gone through the publication process for a scientific journal which involves research and testing hypotheses and, and the, the research methods process that you're learning about in your science class. If you need to have more limits, you can do source types, which since we, let me take off scholarly and peer reviewed journals here and you can see, you'll have academic uh, journals, magazines, news resources, trade publications, but because when we did scholarly, it took us down to five, it removed a lot of this. Also, you can limit by subject if you need to. So these are all the extra ways that you can limit your resources. We're going to go back to scholarly and peer reviewed journals and note you have five results. <laughs>